For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that the cloud infrastructure overview. You can see that if you see the AWS global infrastructure, so they have presence right in various countries, various regions, right? You can see that these are all green regions which is already live and up and running, and there are some regions which they are in start, they are coming soon. So these are the regions. So they have the Asia Pacific region, US region, Europe region, and all, right? So these are all the regions they have what is the regions here so aws regions refers to a specific geographical location where amazon web services has one or more data centers so one or more data centers in this geographical locations so each aws region is designated to be completely isolated from the others so that even if disruption or outage occurs in one region so it does not affect the others so AWS currently has 25 regions around the world so the region is in a geographical location where it has one or more data centers in terms like example if you take an uh, Asia Pacific or the Asia region right where the AWS has the uh, Mumbai region Mumbai region has multiple data centers so multiple availability zones so those are those are the region contains multiple availability zones multiple each availability zones contains multiple data centers so if you come to the availability zone it's a distinct location within an AWS region that is this designed to be isolated from failures in other availability zones so example say that availability zones within the region there are multiple availability zones each availability zones can consist of one or more data centers that are physically separate from other availability zones within the same region but are connected through a low latency links so these availability zones within a region they have multiple availability zones within availability zones they have multiple data centers they are connected with the low latency links what is means by low latency low latency in the sense whenever you example reach the um, other services from this data center to the other data center so you should transfer the data seamlessly within a milliseconds of time right so that is reduced milliseconds latency you have so one milliseconds two milliseconds latency you have from one data center to the other data center because if you have the applications deployed on a multiple availability zones so you have enabled the data replications already anything so then the data will replicate as soon as possible so it's, it's just like in a real time you put the data over here it, it replicates to the other availability zone as soon as possible so that's the low latency links you have this means that even if one availability zone experiences an outage the other should still be available to provide service continuity so that's the availability zone so this is this is a high availability you have between the availability zone so that one zone goes down still other zone has a full complete control to bring down those services and resources over there so that the availability zone so there are some edge, edge locations edge locations is a point of presence of Amazon cloud front so which is in a AWS content delivery network service so these are not availability zones not regional services these are separate locations like the edge locations these are a small data center which is utilized to cage the data so edge locations are 
distributed globally in more than 200 locations and are designed to bring content closer to the end users, reducing the latency and increasing the performance. Example, you have a um, web service which is located maybe or hosted in US region, right? Then you are accessing the same resources from Asia region. Then the, you have a huge difference access from the long distance you are accessing the web services but you should be loading the web pages should be much faster right how it is loading the content whenever you are accessing from the asia region it will be dumped to the the edge location it will be caged on the edge location so it is nearby to the asia pacific region where the edge location is located in asia pacific region from there, it serves the data to the end user. So, you are accessing the data much faster from the Asia location itself. It's not going to the all the way back to the US region to access the data. So, that's why the websites which is content delivery network enabled, the CDN is enabled, which much faster to load the web response. When your user requests the content from a cloud front distribution, the request is routed to the nearest edge location which then serves the content directly to the users so that's the benefit of edge locations and the cdn network so let's see how the how many edge locations you have here on the world so this is the coverage of aws uh, edge locations and multi edge locations and regional edge, edge cages you have uh, on this so this is the services where edge locations are located on aws so let's see in a overall how this aws is looks like so if you see the a top orange line is or yellow line if you see that that's the name aws take one region right in one region you have multiple availability zones within availability zones you will have multiple data centers so some availability zones contains three to four data centers some availability zones contains one two or three data centers some availability zones contains three or four data centers so it's based on the location and the um, resource requirement what you use so based on that they build the data center but each availability zones contains minimum two data centers right in each regions a minimum two availability zones are available in a least case there are two availability zones and each availability zone contains two data centers for a redundancy purpose so each data center again contains multiple servers with a high availability enabled within the servers so you won't lose any data or the accessibility durability and all so it will be 99.119s they provide the guarantee on the data durability and accessibility is 99.99 percent so at any point time the service is up and running and available in a high availability manner so that's the aws global infrastructure how it looks like that's about it this video thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel more upcoming videos and courses.